Hi guys, my name's Ellie, welcome to my channel, and today's going to be a bit of a mess. I got my Dia & Co. Active box, and I realized that I never filmed the last little bit of checking in with the items uh, for my last Dia Active box, so it hasn't been edited or posted yet, <laughs> and it's been a full month. Also, my eyes look ridiculous. I can't see them very well because I went to my eye doctor this morning to get a prescription and they are both numb and dilated. And right behind you, which you can't see, they're doing the construction on our garage that they've been doing since 8 a.m. on a Saturday. Why the fuck this couldn't be during the week when most people are away from their houses and don't wake up to nail guns. But I'm going to zoom you in just so you can see how ridiculous this is because uh, if you haven't done any contacts or glasses or like eye tests before, when they dilate your eyes, you can see kind of like from here out pretty well. But since your eyes can't constrict the way they normally would, so because they've been dilated, I can't see like this is fuzzy. This right here, super fuzzy. So I can never quite see how they are, and I'm hoping this way you'll get to see how ridiculous my pupils are, and I'll get to see them when I edit it. So, oh, also they put um, contact drops in to like check for tears and stuff, and they are yellow. So if my eyes are yellow, that is why. I just look like a mess. So, yeah, that's. How big, yeah, you're so fuzzy, and I'm, I can't tell how much I can see, but I'll see this in editing. But yeah, I, about here, I can make it out pretty well. But like, this is super fuzzy, which is the opposite of my normal vision. And now you've got to see my ridiculous pupils, which I feel like kind of, yeah, but they're also numbed because they put a numbing drop on before they check the pressure. So, like, putting in contacts is really weird because you can't feel your eyes. <sighs> so, that's out of the way. Ridiculous eyes addressed. Um, last month's box. I said I was going to wear them to the gym and then check back in, and I fucking didn't. Because I would think about it and be like, oh, well, I should go put the clothes on, and I'm not working out right now, so I'll do it later. Or, I should check in after a workout, and then I didn't. I really like them. I think they've all worked out really well. I didn't have nearly as much of a self-conscious issue wearing the really light, tighter um, top to the gym. Uh, the pants are good. They they fit a little funny, but not just kind of something you'll notice at the beginning of a workout, but you'll kind of, you know, get distracted by your workout and not have a problem with it throughout. They, and, and it might be just something that I don't notice on other pants because I was thinking extra hard about these pants. They feel like they are a little away from the skin on the back of your leg when they're fully down and you're like doing stuff. So like you can kind of feel space between the fabric and the back of your knee. And you can kind of feel like there's a little, like it's kind of like the elastic isn't quite matching the curve compression wise all the way around. But it doesn't in any way impair my ability to work out. It's not something that's bothering me. Bothering. Bothering or bugging me the whole way through a workout. Um, I've now been working out in mainly those for about a month. Um, a sports bra is not my favorite, but it's not a problem. Yeah, I've been mainly cycling that white top because it had the cool little vent patterns in the back and the pants a lot. I've rotated in the black shirt. It's it's all been good. I've enjoyed them all and they've been good. I've only really done a couple types. I've been mainly doing ellipticals and cardio um, and sometimes doing weights, but I'm not doing like elaborate weights yet. So we will find out how that goes later. Oh, I still feel so demony. Okay, we're gonna get into the box. Ooh, that's gonna make reading the prices interesting. Okay, okay so fun stuff, the return bag and everything. interested. Are you a skirt? You're a top. You're a top. This is like a nice gray. It's very soft. You can't tell because you can't touch it, but it's soft. It looks a little longer um, 
both the tops from last time were a bit short, but not a problem. I just, I like long ass shirts. So, cute gray top. Again, with the blue. I really like this pop of blue. Ooh. Ooh. Okay, so I love me a fucking latticey, lacy detail, which this appears to be on the back, which a lot of things will do. They'll do most of the details on the back because I kind of assume it's to be cute but not in your way, and this might be distracting if you're like me and shove your phone in your bra when you have to do something that requires both hands. But yeah, nice blue little tank top thing. This will be really nice for the summer because we're getting into the summer. And these are interesting. So more exercise pants with a pattern. I don't normally do patterns on the pants, so we will see how I like this. We will figure it out with the try-ons. Ooh, another sports bra. Mm. This has little attachments. Oh no. So they've got little adjuster straps you can adjust the top part. It looks a little big for me because I, despite being a big lady, I don't have huge boobs, which I feel like they take into account when they're trying to make bras. If they're, if they're making a bra correctly, they in theory will assume that as you're getting bigger, you'll gain fat in your boobs like most people do. I just don't have huge boobs to begin with, so my boobs didn't balloon up too much. And then this appears to be more pants. Complicated pants. Pants with accent details and a drawstring and pockets. Complicated pants. Okay. Check those over there and we'll figure out how hard it is for me to read the pricing. Because reading and playing on your phone when your eyes are dilated is a lot. I think I can do it out here. Normally I'm like in here all in the way. So, for the Nanette Lepore Play Vienne Sports Bra in Charcoal Gray, uh, it looks like this. And Just hanging out in my bra. Um, this actually fits quite nicely. There are pads, and I can feel a little hole where you can pull the foam pads out, which I normally don't keep them in because as soon as I wash them, they tend to move around, and they're no longer a good coverage and I particularly don't care if somebody can realize I have nipples during a workout which is the main point of this is modesty and you know if you don't want that um straps are nice I would potentially cinch it a little higher up just because they're a little mobile but I'm not like doing high impact stuff right now yet yeah, you can kind of see how like the pad being out of alignment is weird so we'll just probably pull those out if I keep it um the armhole cut is quite nice. Let's see if I can give you a shot of the back. Not very easily. Uh. Also, it doesn't help that when I hold it that close, I can't see anything because my eyes are still dilated. But this is nice. Um, I like having more sports bra options. So, hmm. And wait, not ways. Costs $45. For the Shape Active Cacti... T. Oh, it could have been cacti. Why? You had an option. If you're going to call it a cacti T, it should just be cacti. I'm going to call it the cacti in white. Uh, that it looks like this. This one is currently a maybe because it's, it's very soft, but you can see how much detail you can see because it's quite tight. I do like the little seam running there. It's like, it's overall, it's not bad, it's just tighter than I like to wear my clothes, and I don't know. Oh my god, you can even see, like, yeah, oh, you can see the weird little dent running down my belly fat. Which is not weird, that's just how my body is. So I don't know yet if this is worth keeping, in the hopes that I'll like it more as I lose weight, which is a thing, I am losing weight as we go, um, or if that falls into the pattern of just keeping aspirational clothes, it'll probably factor in if I want to keep the whole box or not. And costs $38 for the, oh they spelled this weird, 
it's 11, but it's the V is capitalized, so it should be Ella Venn by Venus Williams. Chancery tights in black, so I'm guessing those are the complicated ones. Yeah, those are the complicated ones with the drawstring in the pocket. Look like this. This is really unfortunate, but I can't keep these pants. Um, they fit really nicely. I like the pocket. I like this. I feel like the waist, the drawstring is unnecessary since it's such an elastic waistband. I like the panels, but there is so much extra fabric that I just, like, and it's not something, like, a little bit I can switch out. Like, it's, there's so much extra bundled length, and I don't know how to hem exercise pants. So I don't know how to, like, push it down and get rid of this extra length. I can't. I can't. These pants are, like, for somebody a foot taller than me. So unfortunately, I can't fucking keep these. Which is sad, because it's a really nice soft material. I like the pocket. It's a nice deep pocket. It feels comfy. They feel really good. They're just super wrong in the length. And they cost $65. For the Rune Cyrus Strappy Tank in Royal Blue, it looks like this. This is the kind of fit I like, where it's it's in and it's down, but it's not super tight in. There's still a little wiggle room. Um, I do appreciate these seams that do a little bit of faux contouring type stuff. Um, cute, nice wide straps. Now to see if I can show you the cute back with any kind of skill. Kapow. Can you see that? Not really. <laughs> but very cute. I like this a lot. I would be happy going to the gym in this, you know. And costs $42. For the Livy Kearney Capri tights in black slash red, uh, they look like this. And I don't know how I feel about these. I don't hate them. They're a little tight on my calves, but I think that just might be the way that they're purposely cut for like a bit of compression. They do hit at about a good length, right at my ankle. They go up decently high, so I don't have to worry about that like sliding down and being ridiculous during a workout, and it does seem pretty kapoom stay put, which is nice, and I'm interested in trying out patterns, I just haven't really, so who knows? We'll find out after I try everything on. Maybe if I think of it as, like, blood splatter. And those cost $49.95. So we have a merchandise total of $239.95. They take off the $20 styling fee, and if you keep everything, you get a 25% discount. So if I keep the whole box, it'll be $159.96. Otherwise, we will get to that once I've tried everything on. And come back with my opinions. I feel like I just want to take a bunch of videos and pictures of how ridiculous my eyes are. <laughs> it's very demon- like, I'm sorry, but that's what they do in all the shows when they're having somebody go evil or, like, be influenced by magic. They blow out the pupils or turn the eyes black. So I feel... demony. I'm gonna go try some stuff on and hopefully not fall over. <laughs> so... back with my creepy demon eyes. I am keeping most of it. I'm keeping this lovely blue tank top. I'm keeping the sports bra. I'm keeping the red flowery pants. I am sending back um, the white keck tee uh, and the chancery tights from Eleven by Venus Williams. I probably would have kept the t-shirt if I was keeping the whole box which I think you guys could tell in my try-on section. If I was keeping everything and that was just the one thing where I'm like, eh, I want to lose 10 pounds, it'll fit better, which it would. And that is the goal, and I am making progress on that goal. But these pants are way... The, 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 the gray and blue and green pants are way too long, which is really unfortunate because... Like, the way they fit my thighs, the way they rise, um, the pocket detail, the fabric, the paneling, where the panel's placed are all great. 
but there's so much extra fabric, which means these pants are made for somebody way taller than me, which also makes me wonder, <laughs> yeah, I'm looking down at the sheet, and it says the black and red ones are supposed to be capris. They fit my ankles, because I got short fucking legs, because I'm a short fucking person. I am 5'3", which is average. It is the average height for people. But either I have different proportions than most people, or designers are still just designing for the aesthetic of a nice tall person, and not taking into account the fact that majority of, you know, average person is not that fucking tall. Um, but anyway, yeah, I, I see that a lot where I put on pants and I'm like, these are great, they fit right at my ankle, and I look over and they're supposed to be capris that only come part way down my calf. And that's because somebody designed them for significantly longer legs, so either my proportions are out of order and my legs should take up more of my overall height, if they were average proportions, or designers are making aspirational clothes and hoping for, like, this nice long line in the legs that is not really prevalent. But, yeah. So, can't keep the pants, so there's no point in keeping the whole box, because I I could ask somebody to hem these for me, but, I don't know, I feel like that's weird, I feel like that's too extra. Uh, if it was a little bit, like, mm, a little bit of too long, I would just bunch them and go with it, but it is, like this much fabric too long <laughs> and I'm I'm trying not to keep things I have to modify that is a goal you know if something's too long too short too whatever I'm trying not to keep pieces that I have to do an additional step to to make work for me it helps me buy less it helps me be more precise about what I'm doing and it helps me notice things that either I like in theory or I like on a different body type from me and I don't need to wear personally. There's a lot of things that like I think are gorgeous on different body types, but when I put it on myself I'm like, oh, oh, what did I do? So, we are sending back the pants and since I'm sending them back, I don't see a point in keeping the quite, quite tight um, tank, the t-shirt. It's something where if I was in much better shape, something being that tight on me would be like a good thing. It would be like showing off my curves, but I got a lot of lumps and bumps still. So we'll get back to it later. Hopefully this was helpful for you. Um, I don't really know if there's any benefit to talking to you guys about how they worked out. I think instead I will do a follow-up at the start of the next box if something either stood out as really, really good or was really really bad and I regret keeping which I haven't had that be an issue yet I haven't regretted anything I've kept uh, as well with the eyes I got a new prescription which means I'm going to get some glasses for the first time in a while I've kept my con contact prescription really current but I don't wear glasses day to day so I have kept that it's just kind of like a, oh I have them if I need them and it's less important for that to be a super current prescription which has ended up with me not getting new glasses in like four or five years. And my eyes have obviously changed. Uh, and I want to get some glasses. I want to have that as an option. So if my eyes are super dry or if I'm, you know, I work on a computer screen all day and that can be really drying for contact. So if I just want to pop my contacts out and throw on glasses, I would like them to match. So whole reasoning. I'm going to order some glasses. I've seen a lot of um, reviews and uh, buzz around Warby Parker, where you can order multiple frames and lenses and have them shipped out, try them on, and then keep what you want type thing. Like a subscription box, but they don't do it every certain amount of time. You just, you know, select some, try it on, keep what you want. I wonder if they're actually... Sorry, my brain's just now thinking that maybe they're just sending you the frames and then once you pick the frames you like, they send you the fully formed glasses because the frames and the lenses are very different. If you don't, you might not know that if you don't wear glasses, but trying on a set of frames and having lenses made and fit into the frames you want takes time. So I will have to figure out which one that is. Um, I will probably do a video anyway, but just let me know your interest level in seeing um, the glasses. If you just want like a quick try on, if you want 
like the whole thing, which I have. Um, I'm a. I have my glass subscription. I have my pupil distance as to how far away from the bridge of my nose my pupils are, which is apparently helpful for uh, fitting in glasses. I didn't know. My doctor told me. She's like, "Do you need your pupil distance?" So I'm like, eh. and "She's like, if you're ordering online, you need it." I'm like, "Okay, I need that." <laughs> But yeah, let me know um, how much you want, if you just want like a check-in of like what I kept. Because I'm quite excited, but I don't know how helpful that is for you guys. But also, you haven't really seen me wear glasses very much, and if I get glasses that I really, really like and are in a current prescription, I'd be more likely to, and then maybe... I don't even know what that would... No, I'm just going on a tangent. I don't know if that would end up with me trying to like make makeup for like eye makeup modify for the glasses or not because I see that happening people be like ooh I need tips on how to wear makeup with glasses which my brain is just wear whatever makeup you want and then put on glasses but I know there's a whole thing about like trying to make it something you can see that isn't you know outside of the frames or like too small to be made up through the, like it, it, it's a whole thing that I have not done yet and maybe we will branch into if I feel like it I need to go <laughs> I'm going to leave you guys thank you for watching um let me know how you're doing how you want that glasses try on thing to go um ooh, fun update i did weigh myself this morning so now i am officially down 11 pounds for my starting weight which is good which means i am on track for first tattoo because i'm getting my first tattoo when i've lost 20 pounds that's my goal that's my little thing for myself and then I'm gonna have a whole little issue with the fact that from what I've heard and from what my friends have gotten it you're not supposed to really sweat excessively um, or at all if you can stop it when you have a fresh tattoo which means during the healing process I probably won't be working out which might sabotage my process and my progress and we'll find out but I'm excited because that's step one towards the huge tattoo that I'm getting eventually in several pieces gotta do testing tattoo gotta lose 20 pounds so I can reward myself with the testing tattoo I'm gonna go before I ramble about something else completely not related to this video again thank you for watching I will see you all next time Ooh, do you want to see the demon eyes again Hello. oh you can see my contacts yeah the demon eyes are fun oh that hurt oh yeah, I'm gonna go wear some sunglasses.